Hello friends, my name is Yogendra Pal and I welcome you in the series of this video tutorial named Yogi's Guide to C++. In this video, I will talk about objects. So first thing first, what is the definition of an object? An object is an entity of the real world or programming problem that have some characteristics. What are the characteristics? First thing that it has some values that can be changed. And second, some operations can be performed on it. So remember these three things. First, entity, second, values, and third, operations. So an object is an entity that has some values and some operations can be performed on it. Memorize this definition because many times you may need to write this definition. Although I know that just by giving this definition, just by reading or understanding this definition, it's quite hard to understand the concept of an object. So let's take some examples. I'll show you two examples from real world and two examples from programming world. Then I hope that you will learn better about objects. So let's move to first example. I take a real world object as an example. So this radio is my grandfather's radio. And as I described that it has some values that can be changed and some operations that can be performed on it. Let's see what are those values and operations. So first thing that we can switch on and off this radio. By switching it on and off, what value we are actually changing? We are changing the value of power. When it is on, it will become off. And when it is off, it will be on. Can we name this operation switching the power on and off? The operation is change state. Although you can name it anything like change power or something else. By changing the state, it will become on when it is off. And it will become off when it is on. We can change the volume of this radio by changing the volume. Actually, I am saying that we are changing the volume and here what I write, some values that can be changed. So we are actually changing the volume of this radio. So the volume of this radio can be changed. And the operation that used to change the volume is known as change volume. What else we can do with this radio? We can change its station to tune the radio. So it's so obvious that value is station. And the operation named is change station. Let's go to the second example. This example is taken from a programming problem. And this object name is time of our digital clock. So what values can be changed? So it has a R. R can be changed. So write down here. R from 1 to 12. So what is the operation that we need to perform? Set R. Set R will change this value. The second value is minute. So we can change the value minute from 1 to 60 and the operation is set minute. Third thing, we can change its second. So the value will be second, 1 to 60 and the operation will be known as set second. Sometimes we want to change all values by performing just one operation and this operation will be named as set time. So when we set time, we will change the values of R minute and second. Let's take an example from real world. This is the door of my room. So we will again try to write down the values and operations. So my door has a handle. By using this handle, I can close and open the door. So what value we are changing? We are changing its state, open or close. And we are performing an operation close when it is open. And the second operation is open when the door is closed. Second, my door has a keyhole. By using this keyhole, I can lock or unlock my door. So the value of lock can be changed. Or the operation will be lock or unlock the door. The third thing my door has a stopper. So value of this stopper can be changed. Stopper's value will be either on or off. And I can perform stopper on operation or stopper off operation on this object. The fourth example is quite interesting for all of you. Because it's a character from a video game named Mario. I hope that you have played Mario and Mario have some values that can be changed and some operations that can be performed on it. So let's see the first value that can be changed. Size. If you have played Mario, you know that sometimes it's a small and sometimes it gets bigger. Value of size can be changed is small or big. In order to change the size, we have to perform the operation named change size. Second value, power. Sometimes Mario gain power and sometimes it lose power. So value of power becomes either it has power, so yes, or it doesn't has power, means no. So the operation is gain power or lose power. And you know, when 
Mario gains power, then it can shoot. So shoot is an operation that can be performed. The third value is a speed. You know by using the controller you, you can make Mario run slow or fast. So when going slow we can say it walk and when the speed is fast we can say it run. So walk and run there are two operations that can be performed on Mario. And the last operation a Mario can perform is jumping in the game. So jump is an operation that can be performed on Mario. Let's look some more examples of objects around me. So my pet dog is an example of an object. My pet dog is an object. My mobile that I purchased last year is an object. And my laptop using which I am recording this video is also an object. So till now I have talked a lot about object. I, I told you the definition of object and show you some examples of objects. Now it's your turn. So what you have to do? Pause this video and you have to do this activity. In Yogi's Guide to C++ Chapter 10, you will see this activity seat 10.1 and I recommend you to complete this activity seat. Then you can play this video. So in this video, I talked a lot about object and I hope that the concept of object is clear in your mind now. In the next video, I'll talk about class. So see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.